This Ranger armor you cannot find it anywhere on the map and you cannot even find it on the journey step. So this is gonna be how you can get this gear set that I'm gonna explain in this video. Hello everyone, my name is Hossein Badik and Carl with Arked. In this video, I'm gonna explain how to get this new OP gear that is kind of hidden in the chapter 3 new patch of the game. And most of the people are using this gear in the PvP servers that you can see is quite OP and it gives you quite good stats. So you can see in each piece you're getting 7 stamina plus 8 agility weapon damage that is gonna be the new meta for archers that I'm gonna like cover it on the new dedicated video for archer build and it's gonna be very good on the stamina and uh, for like if you're using katana daggers and stuff in officials this gear can be really good that I'm gonna also explain how you can get this gear right now so before we jump into the video make sure if you enjoy this video put a like on the video it will help me a lot so for this sword, I need to explain that this gear set, you cannot find it anywhere on the map. The only way to get this gear set is by doing the journey steps. But you may ask, where is the journey steps for this gear set? I don't find it here. That's the kind of issue that no one knows about it. So all you need to do to get the quest in the journey steps, you need to go to Drex. You need to come to the Drex, this part of the map, you can see. Everyone knows where is the dregs in the starter new area all the way on the left side on D4 You're gonna come all the way back here and you're gonna come inside the dregs So when you come to the dregs it says Dungeon Delver So you unlock the new journey steps Dungeon Delver you can see now Dungeon Delver So this is the reward of this gear set and you need to do all the dungeons in the game to be able to open this gear set this is gonna be pretty useful and pretty amazing to do this journey steps you're gonna do all the dungeons one by one to get this gear so I'm gonna help you a little bit you're gonna have the dregs you're gonna have the midnight that this midnight is gonna be the dungeon the Jebel Sike dungeon that I'm gonna show you so the second one in this the Jebel Sike dungeon it's on D8 you're gonna come here and talk to the werewolf you learn it and you're just gonna make it and go to the Jebel Sike Dungeon. I'm just gonna explain one by one the uh, dungeons because it's not gonna be enough time to do all the dungeons one by one and help you how to do the dungeons. It's all on you and I know all of you know how to do dungeons. First it says find the dungeon then it's gonna be explore the dungeon. Finding means to just go to the dungeon at the start of the dungeon before you start and exploring gonna be killing the end boss. So the next one gonna be the Consume the flesh of remain. It's just farming the last boss in the this midnight dungeon and eat the flesh. Find the black keep. And so now this next next one's gonna be the black keep. So the black keep gonna be here. It's the silent legion dungeon next to the frozen bridge TP on F11, F12. So you're just gonna come here inside all the way upstairs and you're gonna go inside and just click E on this door and start the dungeon so the next one gonna be well of skelos where is the well of skelos it's gonna be all the way up in the volcano that we're gonna go now so the skelos dungeon gonna be in the volcano in this part of the map you can see me on the map you're gonna come here you make sure you have ice with you and a, like a strong troll to do the dungeons jump in and you're gonna be inside the forge area and when you go to the forge area, you need to go there you need to go from forge to the right side you can see there is a broken bridge there you need to go past the broken bridge and that's the pink light there you're gonna just join there and it's gonna be the bus and after Eskelos is gonna be find the sunken city the sunken city gonna be the underwater dungeon that most of you guys know about it you just go to the docks in jungle in south jungle you're just clicking on this boat and you're gonna go inside the dungeon it's pretty easy and fast the next one gonna be the silver mine that most of you guys know where is the silver mine that's the cave that you go farm a stone and silver there and farm the uh, strongest uh, queen poison in this game so it's pretty easy to do this you just need to go to inside this cave silver mine and kill the end boss and the next one gonna be the war maker dungeon so war maker dungeon is the most important dungeon that most of you guys did it a lot of times 
you need to come here in the Bream Lake area that's gonna be the most dangerous location in every server you're gonna come all the way up here and you join this uh, you join this dungeon by clicking E on this door and you are inside the war maker You need to kill three bosses, three mini bosses for a start and the one main boss at the end And the last one gonna be the wine cellar dungeon It's the quite good dungeon and most of the people doing this dungeon for archer build and getting the carry steel bar So this uh, in also many private servers you need to do this dungeon for getting the carry steel for trading with the admin for Elderium to manage to be able to buy from the shop to get a sip of weapons So this dungeon is pretty nice to do it every time that you have time It's this door here inside this location in the set city on B7 It's like next to the fisherman when you get the fisherman over there You just come here and press E and go inside there So this was all the steps to do to get this recipe for this year set but I gonna do one more help at the end of the video to help you use this meta gear that everyone using it but you need to change one or two part of the gear set because the the legging is just seven stamina you can just switch the legging with the new pants that is coming in the new uh, new dungeon the kurak pants that gives you 32 stamina plus 10 percent follower damage you're not gonna use this follower damage but the 32 stamina is quite useful to use it and the boots also if you don't need the agility bonus damage you can use the spider climbing boots it's gonna gives you 36 armor and 22 stamina you can see that i'm gonna mix these boots with these pants and I'm gonna 32 from this and 22 from this it's gonna be a lot of extra stamina then three pieces from this armor that each piece gives you seven stamina that's quite OP and uh, each piece gives you eight percent on agility weapon that's gonna help you a lot so this is gonna be a really good combo to use it on your PvP servers and try to kill enemies with this OP I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching I will see you all in the next video